Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to talk about something today that has come to my attention, um, and it just blows my mind kind of. It's just crazy. There's this massive, massive division, you know, out of all the subjects and everything that you could, you know, have a point of view on, uh, causing division, uh, different points of view. In the Bible, this thing is like a 50-50. It's like cut down the middle, and it's crazy because, well, one, it doesn't really matter in the end because God knows and in the end it's going to happen no matter what. But the rapture of the church, some people think that it, it, it it's um, uh, pre-trib. Others think it's during the seventh seal or after the seventh seal. And I'm just like blown away by the division. We're talking about people like on both ends, on both sides who have studied the Bible for 25 plus years, allegedly. And it's just, it blows my mind because it's like, and I get it. I understand. They 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 all have fair points, you know, both sides have uh, fair points. You know, like I, I used to think it was after the seventh seal, but the one, once I started to really kind of think about it and, and, and really start reading some scriptures and stuff and it, it didn't make sense, you know? Um, so I, I get both sides. And then, you know, uh, uh, one claim for the, the, the side that's on, you know, pre-trib, which is the side I'm on. Um, and again, this isn't an argument. It's just a vision. It's okay. It's a point of view. In the end, we're, uh, uh, those who are following Christ are going to get raptured anyway. So it's, it's quite all right. Um, but what I noticed is a lot of, uh, you know, they, 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 uh, there's scriptures from, from Daniel and, and, and Proverbs, I think. Yeah. And, you know, um, but one of the points they make is, you know, in revelation, you know, you have the 24 elders and they say they they believe that that represents you know um us i don't know how i feel about that one first off it's just speculation no one knows anything about the elders or like anything at all like no one knows anything about the elders it's it's all speculation oh. sorry about that where was i um my coworker came and wanted to talk i didn't want to be rude so yeah, there's a lot of, there, I would say there's literally a 50, 50, 50 division. Um, you know, they believe that the, the 24 elders, you know, they, they, it's fair, it's fair, but it, it, it's, it, there's, there's no evidence. It's just uh, speculation. So, you know, uh, but yeah, the 24 elders are supposed to represent us. Uh, now, the, the reason is because when I first read it, I, I thought after the seventh seal was also when the rapture of the church happens, but no one knows okay so what we can agree on how about this let's just put it through this perspective of god's eyes okay god loves us very very much more than we could ever comprehend okay he loves you and he loves me that being said do you think our lord and savior for those who have sacrificed uh the flesh's wantings to serve him and have their body be a holy temple full of holiness and, and live a sinless life and abide by his Bible and his teachings and, 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 and read it and study it and love him and worship him. Do you really think that he would allow us to be in the tribulation, which will basically be hell on earth? Now, you may say, well... Yeah, but we'll be protected and, and it'll, it will be so we can uh, spread the keep spreading the gospel. No, that's what the 144,000 Jews is for. And they're protected. So that, state, that, that statement or that, I don't want to say argument, speculation kind of, it, it collapses on itself. So no one really knows. All we know is that the rapture of the church will happen. And what I believe and what you believe, that's okay. It's not a big deal. But if we were to take it through through God's eyes and his, in his speculation, what, what, through God's perspective, you probably, it's probably pre-rapture or it's probably pre-tribulation, honestly. Um, no, you're not wrong. If you think it's after the seventh seal, that doesn't make you a bad person or anything else like that. But if you think that you're, if you believe that our God is an all loving God, which he is, he loves you very much. He loves me very much. Why would he let us suffer through that? Again, you could say that, it's so that we can spread the gospel, but that's what the 144,000 Jews is for, and they're already protected. So, I think I think it, I think it's pretty obvious, actually. Anyways, what do you think? What's your belief? What side are you on? Um, 
and uh yeah god bless you uh the holy spirit is amazing and once it's in you you're gonna feel great you're gonna feel reborn you're gonna rip off that sin that that flesh that sin and god's gonna love you and you're gonna love him and it's gonna be the best relationship you've ever had in this physical world and and you're gonna have the opportunity in the kingdom of god um there's there's no there's nothing there it, that's amazing that's amazing come on man rejoice hallelujah bless you have a wonderful day.